Hey guys, it's Joe from Extreme Terrain and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Back Industries Backflip MX4 folding tonneau cover fitting all 16 and newer Tacomas. Now this is going to be a great option for you if you're looking for a high quality aluminum tonneau cover that's not only going to keep your stuff safe from the elements but people as well. Now first things first, we're going to dive into what this thing is made out of and that is high quality aircraft grade aluminum. This is some really tough stuff. This tonneau cover is rated to withstand up to 400 pounds. So even in the worst snowstorm, this thing is gonna be able to take it no problem. Comparing this to a regular old vinyl tonneau cover that you'd pay a couple hundred bucks for, security is at the forefront with something like this. Those regular old vinyl tonneau covers, it only takes a pocket knife to get into them. But something like this, once you have it locked down and the tailgate locked, there is no way to get this thing off. You're gonna need some serious tools to get through something like this. So if you plan on carrying anything of value in the bed of your truck regularly, this is gonna be a great option for you. It's finished in an awesome UV resistant black powder coating, which perfectly matches the black finishes on our 16 Tacoma. This thing looks right at home on the back of our truck. One thing I personally like about the MX-4 is just how quickly you can roll it up and down. Basically, once you open the tailgate, you can pull on a wire. This thing folds up in three sections, three wires for each one. And then you have some prop rods at the back to secure this up against the rear glass, as well as some rubber bumpers on there to make sure you don't scratch anything up. And that's pretty much rolling it down. Rolling it out is even easier. You put the prop rods down and this has some teeth to hold it in place and they just click right in. So rolling this up and down in a pinch is gonna be extremely easy. This thing pretty much does it all and because this thing does everything, you have speed, you have build quality, you have security, ease of use. It's gotta suffer in one area and that area is gonna be price. The backflip is gonna cost you around a thousand bucks. There's no way around it. This is an expensive tonneau cover. However, you are getting a lot. Like I said, this is pretty much the end all be all. If you're looking for a hard trifold tonneau cover, this is the one and it's even backed with a three year manufacturer's warranty from backflip. Now the install for this is going to be pretty simple. Nothing but some basic hand tools. There is a little bit of drilling if you wanna route the water drainage channels out from underneath of the bed. I would highly recommend doing that to make sure everything in the bed stays dry. But other than that, there's no modifications required. Definitely a one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. At most, if you come with the right tools, I think this will take you about an hour or two in the driveway. So without any further ado, let me show you what tools you'll need and how it's done. Tools required for this install are going to include an impact or a ratchet, small extension, T30 Torx bit, Phillips head screwdriver, and if you want to mount that water drainage, you will need a drill, a drill index, or a step bit to do so. So before we start the install, one thing I do want to point out is our truck did come with a factory tonneau cover, so we're going to be removing these guide posts as well. If your truck did not come with that, you won't have to remove those. But other than that, the first step here is we're gonna take a T30 Torx bit. We're gonna remove the screws all along this factory rail right here. That's gonna be relocated by our new mounting brackets. We're gonna do that for both sides. Now for the mounting posts, again, you might not have these on your truck. We're just gonna pull out this little plastic insert and that will reveal the hardware, which is also T30. We're gonna remove those and pull off the studs. Just for safekeeping, I'm gonna run those back in.
Next, we're gonna take off the rail at the rear here. We're gonna install these seals on either side of it, and then we're just gonna drop it right back into place. For our next step, we're gonna grab the rails included in the kit. Now you wanna make sure that this prop rod is toward the inside and this slotted hole is up by the bulkhead. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna flip it over like so. Then we're gonna grab the clamps and we're just gonna feed these down the rail. For our short bed truck, we're gonna be using four of these. If you had the long bed, you'd be using five. Now you just wanna spread those clamps evenly along the length of the rail to line up with the threaded holes on the bed. And then we're just gonna come in at a 45 degree angle with the weather stripping down. And we're just gonna turn that down into place. Then we're gonna use the longer bolts included in the kit. There's still a T30 to tighten that to the truck. Now we're just gonna use the smallest T30 bolts included in the kit and we can resecure our factory rail to the new mounting brackets and you can see that gets relocated about an inch lower. Now we're gonna jump over and do the same thing for the other side and we're gonna start by installing our new clamps. Now we're gonna come in at a 45 degree angle, push that as far forward as we can, and then rotate that down into place and we're gonna secure it with our new bolts. Then we're gonna reinstall our factory rail, again with the shorter T30 bolts. So after that, we're just gonna put the tonneau cover on the truck. You wanna make sure this hinge panel is up toward the bulkhead. So next up, we're gonna have to install this female side of the buckle to this small panel up at the bulkhead. If I grab the male side, you can see exactly how this is gonna work. That's how the tonneau cover secures once it's in the folded up position. And in order to do that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these threaded inserts. They're gonna come up from the back. And there's one for each hole. And then we can put our buckle over top. And we're gonna take the Phillips head screws and just get those started in the threaded inserts. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. We're gonna start with our threaded inserts. Then we can put our buckle on top. And secure with the Phillips head screw.
Now with both of the buckles installed, you probably noticed this hole right here off to the side, and that's actually how this last panel attaches to the rails. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bolt with this flat head right here. We're just gonna open that up. And that's gonna press in right like so. And that's gonna meet up with the slotted hole on our rail. And then from underneath, we can secure it with this thumb screw. But before we do that, we're going to install some rubber bumpers to keep our tonneau cover from hitting the glass. To install these bumpers, you just have some 3M tape on the back. We're just gonna remove the cover and aim right for the middle. The two on the sides, they're gonna be the same exact process. However, you wanna make sure they're in an inch or two just so they don't interfere with the side rails when the tonneau cover is unrolled. Now from the underside, you can see where that bolt comes through that slotted hole right here. And to secure that, we're just gonna apply our couple washers. There's a rubber one, a metal one, and then a lock washer. And then we're just gonna thread on our thumb screw. And we're gonna do the same exact thing for the other side. Now while we're under here, we're gonna install our water drainage. That's just gonna push up onto this barb fitting like so. Now, there are no holes to route this tube out of the bed. You could either drill a hole through the back here, but what I recommend doing is drilling a hole through the floor of the bed and routing this tube through it. That way, any water that does get through will be routed right through this tube and away from any stuff in the bed of your truck. There's one of these hoses on either side. So for our purposes, this thing is pretty much installed as it sits, just rolled up. If you wanna keep it in this rolled up position, all you'd have to do is grab the prop rod, loosen up this thumb screw, slide that piece down around the prop rod to lock it in place, and then tighten that back down. There's another one of those on the other side, but for what we're gonna do, we're gonna show you how to unroll it. So we're gonna loosen that up, move the plastic piece, put our prop rod back into the hook here. So then we're just gonna simply roll this thing down. It's gonna catch on our rails with these white teeth. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for me. It's also gonna do it for the Back Industries Backflip MX4 folding tonneau cover, fitting all 16 and newer Tacomas. Thank you guys for watching. If this video helped you out at all, leave us a comment down below. Subscribe for more like this one. Keep it right here at Extreme Terrain for all things Tacoma.